Well, let's do an update video, I guess. It's, uh, I got up early, really early this morning, about six, seven o'clock. It got into the 90s today, and I got this in there and mounted. I ended up uh, rewiring my battery. My midpoint had kept coming loose. Uh, we'll see in here a little bit. I got some cables there I don't want to touch down there, but give me a little tease. I have a DIY battery bank that I built, oh, I don't know. I feel like it was three, four years ago now. Maybe it wasn't quite that long. Um, been working out great. Uh, no problems with that at all. This is 2200 amp hours, 12 volt, 1100 amp, 1100 amp hours, 24 volt. Uh, it'll run our air conditioners, or a air conditioner for 24 hours straight. And this is how big it is. So imagine if you're trying to compare this with Battleborns, imagine 22 Battleborns in here. Yeah, I don't even know if they'd fit. So I love these batteries. Uh, here's, I uh, got a quick tour of everything. Got mostly everything wired up now. What I'm working on now is my AC stuff. I have my ins, or no, my outputs to my combiners. There are the aluminum splices. I'm gonna run those into that. And then I gotta run those into my main. And this is, uh, like I said, this is, I wired mine as a 30 amp, so it's always on 30 amp, but it's actually more like 60 amp, because I have two inverters. So I run heavier gauge wire, actually back from when I didn't really know what I was doing. I have two separate runs of a 30 amp shore power cord, is what I did. So <laughs> I just run them in parallel, and someday I'll do something heavier, but like I said, it works trying to upgrade what I can and where it makes sense, but I'm loving the look of this bay. It's coming together. Uh, still got the solar to wire up there too, but uh, yeah, it is coming together. Oh, I only got a couple more hours of daylight and then I gotta, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I better get, at, get after this. All right, well, after a long night of testing, I've come to a conclusion. That's not gonna work. And that really sucks. So here's the long story short. Um, tried a lot of different things. Uh, when I was testing it, I was running both of our air conditioners and um, just the connections aren't great on there and it's building too much heat, heat that I'm not comfortable with, especially taking this out for the next two weeks. So, um, I'm gonna have to go to plan B, which is using the links, and maybe that's why Victron uses the links, I guess. I think I've got a plan to hopefully not rearrange things too much, because I've got a lot of inputs. So, I'm thinking about, well, you know, I just gotta get to it. I am, I'm a day behind right now. Uh, should have left it early this morning. I gotta work on this. I'm probably not gonna leave till tomorrow morning or late tonight. So, uh, I gotta get at this. Uh, I'm exhausted. It feels like it's 100 degrees out here. It's gonna be close. I think it's gonna be 94, 95. It might be there now. Um, but I've got uh, everything hooked up with the links. Gotta get my covers on my raceway. Just finished up the solar. Uh, the heat is mostly gone. There is a little heat around the disconnect there but that's somewhat normal because it is a natural resistance point because it's not a firm connection uh, being that this is a 24 volt system that 300 amp disconnect is fine or should be fine I may upgrade it uh, I, uh, as some of you may notice I did also upgrade the wiring here to 2 watt from the 2 gauge that wire was ever was not actually getting hot but I just kind of did that for consistency and reduced voltage resistance and the way I got the single links to work with this system is I ran them all up to a, a double bus bar up here I'm not super thrilled with it but I kind of on a time crunch and I got to do what I got to do as safe as I can 
So this is what I ended up doing. Um, so I ganged all those together and then that is feeding into a single fuse here, fused at 200. So basically I got three 200s in there. And then the one that's left open is gonna be my alternator charge. And then I just ran the 70 amp Orion right off of the end there. And I actually, ran, I'm running that unfused. Uh, reason for that is that wire, the cable that I'm using is in spec for as much power as that can draw. Now I am at risk for a dead short. That's a risk I'm willing to take right now. Oh, and this is pretty cool too. Uh, this I kept from my other one. This is like my little, uh, this is the output of the Orion. So I'm fusing, or I'm breakering that at 32 amps and running that into uh, a little um, distribution block there. And then I'm running the main feed line a 10 gauge wire up to my main panel. And then uh, those little two wires there, those are just feeding the USB hub there. And I have a USB hub there, if nobody knows, because I'm running a Raspberry Pi for my GX device. That's a leftover from the original system. Who knows, I may pull this out and uh, I was gonna have leaving room there for a servo someday, because I'd love to do tank monitoring. But uh, oh, I got so much to do. Look at this, this is a mess around here. Got all this stuff, it rained last night. I tried to clean up most of it, not all of it. Look at this, I'm just dirty. I'm just dirty, sweaty. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I love having this little like work area right here. Uh, I plan on putting a little piece of carpet over the front of that to make that look a little bit nicer. But I think we're in good shape. I feel much better about hitting the road with this than that system I was working on. Uh, I'm not ready to give up on this quite yet because I'll tell you what, I really liked being able to just, oh yeah, I, let's say I just want to swat, work on the inverters so I can just, whatever, you know. All right, my inverters are off. Now I can mess with those, but solar and solar still charging the battery and all that stuff. I really, I want to make something like this work. The key is we're just going to have to, I don't think we can use this solid bus bar material. It just doesn't make a good connection as you can see there. So I tried using some jumpers there to give it a little bit more surface area. And that improved things, but it wasn't enough, really. Uh, I was just building a lot of heat between the main and the inverters. Not on the breakers themselves, but on the, uh, the bus bar, mostly. It never really got more than 130 when I was running it, but it was just hotter than I would have liked. So we'll put this on the shelf for now. We'll keep playing around with it. I think it might be better for a single inverter system or a multi plus 2000 for sure. But I think I was just trying to do too much with it, at least right now. Early the next morning, we set off for a two week trip of solar work and a little bit of fun as well. We installed a system in the extreme northern part of the UP. Then we spent a week in an event called Schoolie UP. After that, we made our way down to a little update on a previous project we've worked on. Finally, making it home after almost two weeks on the road. So the question is, how did it do? How does it look? And most importantly, could we run our air conditioner with no generator? Let's talk about it. So we made it. It's been a uh, great couple of weeks. We had a lot of fun. Um, met a lot of old friends, made a lot of new friends. So if we saw you out on the road, thanks. Or it was a lot of fun. Uh, so, uh, question is, how did this system do? Well, I can tell you, uh, from a pure power generation standpoint, it did great. Uh, we ran anywhere from, uh, I think our state of charge lowest it got was 20%. And I let it get that low on purpose because I wanted to see how, could we actually charge up from that? And we were able to. Uh, one day, 
it was really hot. We ran a lot of air conditioning. Yes, we ran uh, one, sometimes two air conditioners most of the day and an air conditioner at night. Now they do cycle off, the compressors cycle off. But if the question is, how much solar power do you need to run an RV air conditioner? This is how much. And I would say you have to capture sun at different times of the day. These side panels have been critical to the success of being able to make that work. I think if we had that same amount of power just flat facing, well, we're not gonna get that power generation in the morning and we're not gonna get it in the evening. Now, yes, we could do some kind of articulated thing and get the best of both worlds. Maybe we'll get there, stay tuned. Uh, so with that in mind, uh, or overall, it worked great. We, I couldn't be happier. I would say I am actually happy with the solar. I don't really feel like we're missing out. We ran the generator zero, zero amount of time. Now, to be fair, there were a couple times when eh, it's a little bit warm, we just ran the fans uh, inside or just, you know, did the exhaust fan, especially cooking, because we do all electric cooking and it doesn't make sense to cool air when you're with electricity and you're heating air with electricity. So there was some of that, but when it came time to sleep or in the evenings, uh, anything like that, we were not making uh, sacrifices as far as that was concerned. Kept it at about 68 uh, for sleeping and we find that's nice because sometimes it just takes the humidity out of the air. Even though the air temperature was sometimes even lower than that, it would get really sticky. So, all right, it's enough talking about that. Let's see how that bay actually turned out. Well, here it is in all its glory. Uh, still, boy, I'd like to cover that with some cable wrap or something. It's not, not super proud of a lot of the different things in here, but it got better. I'm really happy about that. Um, we, like I said, we did end up going with this Lynx distributor here, and that worked out just fine for us. I don't have it lit up yet because mine is a 24 volt system, and I don't have a 24 volt converter to make the LED lights light up quite yet. Uh, but everything else worked great, and now we've got a way to safely store some things. I was able to use this space for a little bit more storage of boxes because I had this bus absolutely packed. Uh, yeah, this, and as far as temperature went, didn't really have any problems. Uh, I'm actually starting to have a little bit of second thoughts on how bad that breaker system I had going was because there were parts in this that were getting to 120, 130 degrees as well. They just didn't get any hotter and maybe I just needed to be okay with that. But uh, this is it. Take a screenshot. Uh, I don't know. Tell me what you think. Uh, we definitely need to improve it, or, or there's definitely some things I would still like to improve, but it's better, and I'm all about being better. And some of my regular viewers would probably know this isn't our house. This isn't normally where we keep our bus. Um, this is actually my neighbor's house who is generously giving us a spot to park our bus because our driveway right now is packed with projects. We just had to Basically, we didn't have room for the bus, <laughs> okay? Uh, hey, there are my daughter. That's my daughter, and that's her friend. They're gonna be on YouTube hey, now. Sean. You're on YouTube now. Oh, at, where is she? Can you just flip this off? No, at the end of this video, um, she made a outro that we're gonna put on here. <laughs> so leave a comment on what you think about it. So I think I've embarrassed them enough. So I think that'll do it for this episode. Uh, we loved having you along for the ride. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. We'd love a subscription. <laughs> Give a thumbs up. Where do I find it? <laughs> oh, these girls think I'm so cringy. And maybe I am, but that's why you're here. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.